All right, so uh, this is going to be basically my thoughts on uh, more or less the announcement that came out last night that I didn't really talk about because I was tired and I was like, ah, I'll save it for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's here, and we're going to talk about this, and that is that Paramount has officially announced that there will be a remake for Pumpkinhead. Now, for those who don't know, I really love the Pumpkinhead franchise, although admittedly a lot of the sequels do... Well, they suck, for lack of a better word. They really, really suck in most, in more often than not cases. They really do uh, just, just completely, completely are bad. But, in fact, I don't think I've seen the third one, excuse me, the fourth movie, Blood Feud, in years. I've only seen it once. Like, I've seen um, the first two, because they play those on repeat, but like... Um, the other two, I've only seen like a few... Well, the third movie I've seen a few times. The, one, the third movie that had Doug Bradley in it. And um, that one I haven't seen in a while. Oh, like the fourth movie I, haven't, I only saw once and never saw again. I knew it had something to do with like a feud between two families. Um, I do remember that. But anyway, we're getting off topic. So Pumpkinhead is in, is an interesting pick, and they did. I read some. I read apparently according to the article is that it will be a uh, direct to Paramount streaming, a Paramount Plus streaming movie, um, which I don't know how to feel about that, but we'll see how it goes. The other thing is, while they did announce it, they didn't announce a director, they didn't announce a writer. They just said we're doing Pumpkinhead. We're just making a remake to Pumpkinhead. But these days, remake has taken on a new life of its own, hasn't it? Like remake has really kind of gone off like to do to do other things um remake has now gone on to other meanings like are we just going to do a sequel to the movie it to the original movie um that it's so the other sequels aren't canon anymore and this is the real sequel now um are we doing a full-on reboot or are we doing something that is kind of like oh it's a reboot but it's not really like the the term reboot has taken on a whole new meaning in the in especially in the horror genre as of late where you're just basically like the word reboot isn't exactly like we're doing a remake of that movie um reboot is just basically like we can there literally could do anything remake new sequel that decanonizes the other movies or something of that nature so I don't know, like, I think a part of me wants to say that this could be like a, what we're doing is kind of like with Halloween 2018, where it's a, and Candyman, where it's a sequel and kind of it's a, re, a semi-reboot where it follows the first movie and nothing else, which is fine because really you can't, re, like, Blood Wings, I don't know what happened there, but um, the other, like, no one really cares about the Pumpkinhead sequels, honestly. Like, there's no real lo love loss for the pumpkin head sequel so really what can you really do like honestly like <laughs> what like who's going to miss blood wings as much as i like the pumpkin head movies i uh they're not they're not uh, they're nowhere they're trash movies but they're fun trash movies um uh uh so that's the bit is you know that's kind of the thing is that um, what was I going to say? Um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. But yeah, the so I think it's kind of going to be the latter where it's a, the true sequel. So that means, can we get Lance... Does that mean... And that's the other thing. Are we going to get Lance Henriksen back? He's not getting on... He's getting on in years, people. Like, um, you might want to use him when you can. <laughs> and Pumpkinhead was one of his biggest movies, so... Is Lance Henriksen gonna come? Sorry, that's my phone going up. Jesus, blowing it up. Um, Lance Henriksen is, um, you know, he's getting on in years, but he really carried that first movie, and his body did become the next Pumpkinhead. Not excluding, you know, Blood Wings, because it was like the son of Pumpkinhead. So it's a weird thing. Um, but three, the third and fourth movies did have Lance Henriksen as uh, his body, uh, the character of Ed Harley be very t be canonically tied to Pumpkinhead and use his body hag the witch haggis used his body as like a vessel 
to bring Pumpkinhead. Because for those who don't know, and they'll probably never touch on this in the com in the in the movie, so I'll just say this here: in Dynamite, in Dynamite Comics, um, basically what what's revealed is that Pumpkinhead is not only a, a spirit of vengeance; he is the spirit of vengeance. He is the literal embodiment of wrath. He is the living embodiment of the sin of wrath, and he has six other siblings that are all embodiments of the seven deadly sins. So, and he's actually the strongest among him, uh, among his siblings, because they're all usually brought out to, you know, these the one who's most brought out. And the more times you bring out a demon from hell in the Dark Horse comic, is that 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 demon gets more strength. So he's the most powerful of them because everyone wants revenge. Like, the other ones, like, rarely get brought out, so they don't bother. I think that'd be kind of cool, honestly, if, this, if the movie did kind of follow that idea of what if we brought in, if he is, like, we bring up that, yeah, Pumpkinhead is Wrath, and he has six other th siblings, and Hag Haggis has six sisters who can also bring out the other seven deadly sins, and it can just be the Sins Revisited comic from, Pumpkin, uh, from, the, uh, from Dynamite. I think that'd be a really cool, like, angle to really play with. Um, I think that would be... I think that'd be a lot of fun. They're not going to do it, but I, I would love to see that. The other thing I'm concerned... Um, the other thing that kind of concerns me as a fan is that are they going to do practical effects? Is see, I, I'm already dreading that Pumpkinhead, whatever, however they make him look, is going to be CGI. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that he is going to be... A CGI character like there is no bones about it he is gonna be a CGI character for them um, and I don't know like the whole point of Pumpkinhead was that it was from a award-winning special effects director who gave it his all and made that costume which was really cool and um, the whole point was that it was a very visually effective monster and yeah, I think it would be a disservice if they didn't go with a costume for Pumpkinhead. I feel like that would be a major, just absolute disservice to both Stan Winston, to the effects team, to everybody a part of that movie, and to the fans if they just went CG. Now, obviously, they would do. They have. They did do CGI, and I will admit, I remember in the sequels they did in the third and fourth movies they did have, um, they did have. CGI for the monster, but for the most part, it was a suit. In other places, Pumpkinhead was CGI, but I, what I'm saying is I I would like this to be suit, but also have some CGI for the other stuff. I would I don't mind that they do CGI, but I want to have a guy in a suit for Pumpkinhead. That was the whole allure of him of the character because he was such a visually striking monster design that you could see. So that's what I that's what I want the most out of this is just a character who um, you can actually look at and see and um, you know play off of that because what I'm worried is again like after seeing how bad Next of Kin Paranormal Activity Next of Kin was I'm still convinced that that wasn't even meant to be a, a Paranormal Activity movie and was just a random movie that they just slapped Paranormal Activity on like they slapped on the title Paranormal Activity on it just so it could, you know, attract more people. Like, I'm still convinced that was the po whole point of the damn movie. And that movie was bad. I did a review on my, on my Patreon, and I, that's probably the worst movie I've seen this year. Like, if I was to do, like, worst movie, it'd be Next of Kin. Oh my god, that was so bad. It failed on every level. Again, if you want to check out my review for that, go ch hit the link below. Shameless plug to my Patreon. Um, but anyway... But that's what I'm worried about: is that they're not Paramount's not going to give a uh, give a shit and not give this a lot of budget, and we're going to see like some piss poor CGI for Pumpkinhead. So that's what I, my biggest concern. But maybe I'm just again they haven't announced a director, they haven't announced a writer, they haven't done anything, no casting, no anything. They just said we're doing this in the future, so be prepared. So I guess I guess at the end of the day we're just we just got to wait. At the end of the day we just have to wait for whatever comes next. So that's that's all I can say. I'm just I'm I want I know I sound like I'm shitting on this, but I really don't want to shit on this because I really like Pumpkinhead and the fact that Pumpkinhead, such a lesser care a cult favorite character, is making a comeback in some capacity is something to get excited about. I just hope they want to treat this with respect. But then again, this is modern Hollywood. When's the last time they respected anything? 
So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this Pumpkinhead remake or reboot or whatever it's going to be? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Are you hoping it's going to be a full-on reboot or do you think it's going to go the Halloween 2018 route? Um, also, do you think the mon are you hoping the monster will be in a suit or do you want to be full CGI? Just comment below. Let me know. Um, as always, if you haven't already, go check out the link below to my Patreon to check out some exclusive content. Like I said, that's where my Paranormal Activity Next of Kin review is, along with all my movie, other movie reviews and some other videos. And if you hit the fourth tier, you can send me a request and uh, for, for a video for me to do on here on YouTube. But other than that, once again, I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.